All right, hello and welcome to Union County High School here in Liberty, Indiana. We're here for tonight's junior JV and varsity matchups here between the Eastern Hancock Royals and the Union County Patriots. First up here tonight to lead off this night is the uh, JV game. Real quick here, starters for both teams. We'll start with the Patriots, the home team. Uh, number 22, Nate Webb. Number 20, Alex Van Winkle. Number 24, Blake Fields. Number 34, Mason Hornung. And 32, Hayden Aldridge. For the Royals, you have uh, Joey Sterrett, Brady Stevens, Brady Ellis, Ian White, and Cameron Wise starting off. So here's the tip. Maybe. There's the tip. Sterrett controls the tip, and Cameron Wise will bring it up for the Royals. Wise over to Ellis on the wing. Ellis up top to Sterrett. Sterrett dribbles, thinks about it, kicks to Wise on the opposite wing. Wise looking it in to get, get it into Brady Stevens. Nothing doing. Gets it up to Ian White up top. White over to Ellis on the wing. Ellis drives, kicks to White. White thought about a three. Drives. Ten-foot floater is good. Union County brings the ball up here. Webb with the ball, kicks it up top to Fields. Corner to Van Winkle, three is no good. Rebound was Webb, but he got knocked out of bounds there by Sterrett, and the Royals will get the ball. Cameron Wise brings it up, Royals up 2-0 here early on. Wise up top to Ian White, White. Drives, pulls up at the free throw line, gets it to Brady Stevens. Stevens over to Ellis. Back over to Stevens. Long two. And look, they say Brady shuffled his feet. I didn't see it, but I wasn't watching his feet. I was watching the ball moving on the opposite side. So Union County ball. And they're going to bring it up court. Webb with the ball. Gets it up top to Horning. Horning, three from the wing. Looks good and is. So three points for Mason Horning. And it's three, three to two here early on. Starrett with the ball up top over to Ellis. Ellis drives, hands to Wise. Wise up to wide up top. Got Brady, get it into him. Gets it into Brady. Brady posts up, hits Ellis. For a 15 footer and drills it. Brady Ellis with a long two. Royals back up by a point. Fields up top to Horning. Over to Aldridge. Royals here playing a man defense. Horning gets knocked sideways there by Brady Ellis, but. No call on the play, and Cameron Wise will bring the ball up court. Nice entry pass from Ian White into Brady Stevens. But Stevens too strong, trying to draw the foul. Goes up strong with it, no call. But then on the other end, we have Alex Van Winkle takes it hard. Looks like Cameron Wise knocked him down, and the foul will go on Wise. Non-shooting foul. So Webb will take the ball out. Underneath the, his own basket. Gets it to the corner. Fields drives. Left-handed little up and under. No good. Knocked out of bounds to the Royals. Four three lead for the Royals. Cameron Wise brings the ball up. Wise over to Ellis on the wing. Ellis drives with the left hand, gets stopped. Pulls it back out, finds Ian White. White drives to the middle of the court. Over to Cameron Wise. Wise to Starrett up top. Starrett's three is no good. Rebound by Horning. Van Winkle pushes but thinks better of it. Gets it to Horning, turns it over. Nope, Aldridge picks it up. And corner three there by Fields is no good. Brady Stevens with the rebound. So low scoring but lots of action here. Ian White thought about the three, drives. Gets to the free throw line. Out to Ellis. Ellis gets it into Stevens. Stevens backing down his man. 
Goes up with the right hand and gets it. Two points for Brady Stevens. And I think Brady can get that all night if we keep getting it to him. Pump fake there. Nice pump fake by Webb. Gets Joey Starrett off his feet, and then he drives by and ends up drawing the foul. Cameron Wise had to foul him, and that's going to be two on Cameron. When Dylan Bates is going to replace Cameron after this first free throw by Webb. Webb's first free throw is up. No good. Also into the game here for the Patriots. Number 44, Tate Swafford. They have another player, but he's going to get the shooter, so I can't see his number just yet. Webb's second shot is good. And number 30, Hunter Sherwood is going to get him. So Sherwood and Swafford both into the game here. Four to six, Royals by two. Dylan Bates is going to walk the ball up the court. Bates over to Ian White on the wing. The Bates tries to get it into Brady Stevens. Nothing happened, but good hustle by Brady. Tips it over to Brady Ellis in the corner. His shot's no good. And a rebound by Swafford. Good hustle there by Stevens, but still doesn't lead to any points for the Royals. Corning gets it inside to Sherwood, who has a shot swatted by Joey Starrett. And now Ian White will bring it up. Patriots here in a 2-3 defense. Starrett, cross court to White. Gets it down to Ellis. Ellis was trying to make something happen, getting it to Stevens, but I think he threw it before he looked, and luckily that ball bounces off of the Patriot. White triggers the inbound, gets it to Bates. Bates drives over to Stevens, over to White, up top to Bates. Stared on the wing, cross court to White for three. No good. Rebound, Brady Stevens. Picks it up, Bates on the wing. His three's no good, and Sherwood's going to get another, or Swafford, sorry, gets another rebound. Still a two-point lead. Two minutes and ten seconds left here in the first quarter. Blake Fields drove in there. He got around his man. We're not closing out very well here. We're closing out real hard, and so far they haven't shown the ability to drain that three, so I think we need to close out a little bit more under control and not let them drive past us here. Royals moving it around against this zone. Stare at three from the wings, no good, and Ian White gets the rebound. Kicks to Bates, back over to Starrett. Starrett back up top to Bates. Bates hits Stevens, corner, long two is long. Rebound by Horning. Shot there was no good by the Patriots, and Bates will bring it back up. Loose ball, I think they call they call a kick. Is that what they called? They call a kick ball there, and I think called it on, I think Brady Stevens kicked it, so. Uh, who just came into the game for us? Drew White replaces his brother Ian. And Union County, with just under a minute to go, will bring the ball up to court. Royal's still going man here. So up top, Sherwood up top, over to Webb. Webb tries driving on Brady Stevens. Good defense there by Brady. Keeps him from driving. Three, corner three by Sherwood is no good, and Starrett's going to get the rebound. 30 seconds to go. Gets it up top to Stevens, and Royals are probably going to hold for the last shot. That's what Coach Bechtel's yelling for here. Bates up top. 10 to go. Gets it over to Starrett. And Starrett travels with six seconds left here in the first quarter. 
Connor Bennett getting his first action. He's going to go in for Brady Ellis. 6.9 here to go in the first quarter. Royals by two. Six to four. Van Winkle going to drive. Pulls up and hits it. And he ties it up right there as we start to, or to end the first quarter. So as we end the first here in this JB basketball game, it's Eastern Hancock 6, Union County 6. Okay, we're back here. Start the second quarter, Union County 6, Eastern Hancock 6. There's Webb, drives on Bennett, puts it up, gets it in. And the Royals are going to trail by two now. Dylan Bates brings the ball up. Again, Cameron Wise on the bench here with two fouls. He got two early. Bates throws a wild pass, but Drew White manages to corral it, almost stolen. Kicks it to stare it. Three is no good up and over the top of the backboard. Union County will get the ball back. I think in that five on four, I don't know that that's the shot we wanted. I think Drew could have driven in there and a little bit further. And I think he had, uh, he had Stevens if he wanted him. Over and back there on the Patriots. And Eastern will get the ball right back. Down two. Stevens to Bates. Bates will bring it up. Over to Drew White on the wing. Over. Not a good pass there by Sterrett. Stevens was not very open. And he, he would, really didn't have an angle to force that ball in there. But leads to a steal. And two more for the Patriots. Sterrett, oh, gets it into Bennett. Bennett tries going into Brady Stevens, but lobs it over his head. Brady not known for his jumping ability. I think we can get it into Brady anytime we want. We just have to not be wild and crazy about it. Fields with a spinning shot, no good, but they get their own rebound. Webb's shot was no good, but Aldridge was right there to put it back up and in. And it, the lead here in a minute and a half has gone from tied to a six point lead for the Patriots. Stevens traveled. That 15 footer was there. He just shuffled his feet. Into the game for the Patriots. I believe Van Winkle just came back. Horning just came back. And was that Webb, I think, just came back? Webb was in. Maybe Swapper just came back in. Webb takes Brady Ellis off the drive. No good. Stevens with the rebound. Brady Ellis, three from the wing. No good. Rebound is picked up by Horning, but then he loses it. I think he got a foot stepped on, maybe. Bates, three from the top of the key. No good. And we cannot hit a three tonight to save our lives right now. And Union County's just outrunning us on the other side. Another layup, and we're down down, down by 8 o'clock, and Coach Beckham's going to call a 30-second timeout here.
we're taking the first decent look that we get. And by decent, I don't mean a good look. I just mean we're taking the first semi-open look that we get every time, and it's almost too quick. we got to work through a little bit more and break the the pressure of this zone and get it inside. I think we can get it inside to Stevens if we don't panic. And I think Brady is going to be, like he is in most games, just bigger and stronger. And I think he can do some good things inside. So Bates, Stevens, Drew White, Brady Ellis, and Connor Bennett on the floor for Eastern. Uh, Cameron Wise is set to check back in. He does have two fouls, so he's going to have to be careful here, but we need the ball handling. Drew White, three from the wing, no good. Rebound, fought four, and that's going to be a jump ball. Let's see who Wise is going to get. Wise is going to get Bates. Got to hit a shot. Just six points. Got to hit one. Drew White's going to inbound. Finds Bennett. Bennett tries shooting it before he had a hold of it and throws it right out of bounds. Come on, Connor. You're better than that. Drive there by Van Winkle. Yep. Drives in. Connor Bennett tried to take the charge. Good effort by Connor, but he slid underneath him. When Van Winkle took off, Connor took that one step to the side and slid underneath and, and got the block instead of the charge. Good effort. Can't fault Connor's effort. Van Winkle's first free throw is good. Makes it a nine-point lead for the Patriots. Second free throw is perfect. And the Patriots are up by 10. Cameron Wise brings it up. Top to Drew White. Over to Brady Ellis on the wing. Ellis, nothing working. Gets it up top to Drew. Back over wing to Wise. Back over to Ellis. Ellis, three from the wing. No good. We've been long on almost every shot we've taken. And not just one guy, but everybody. Webb drives and Webb web travels. Brady Stevens did a nice job of stepping over there, getting in his way, and uh, making Webb take that extra step. Blake Fields come back, comes back in for Tate Swafford. And the Patriots still lead by 10. Stared about to check back in for Easter. Wise to Ellis. To Drew White, and then good play by Drew. Union County player tipped it away. Was it was going to be over and back, and then Drew goes and picks his pocket and gets it back. But right there, just kind of a bad sequence of events. We turn it over here on our wing, and they they have players streaking and hitting for an easy layup. I'd say ten of their 18 points are on easy layups so far. We just can't do that. See, ball was knocked out there. Couldn't tell who they called that out on. They called that out on Aldridge. Ian White gets his brother. Sterrett gets Stevens. Ian's going to inbound. Ian's looking for somebody. Nobody's running anything. White's three's no good. Good hard rebound by Ellis. Pulls it back out. Coach Bechtel not happy right now. We're getting we're getting looks like Connor Bennett is open at the free throw line. We're just not seeing him. And our spacing's not been great. And we've got to hit a shot if we want them to respect us outside to help give us that spacing. Ooh, that Union County player was out of bounds, but they didn't see it because the ref 
Only two refs, they couldn't get quite back in time. Ellis tried to do the right thing, but just, just a bad pass. And a bad pass leads to another fast break opportunity here. And it's 20 to six. We haven't scored this quarter and they've scored 14. Webb knocks it out of the hand zone. Wise. Let's see, uh, Jaden Bias coming into the game here for the Patriots. Just can't play like this, boys. Stare it with the ball up top. Over to Ian White. Ian dribbles around, gets it up top to Cameron Wise. Over to Stare it, back to Wise, back to White. And he gets bodied up by. Who is that? Nate Webb. First foul of the game for the Patriots. A minute 23 left in the second quarter. They've been letting a lot of stuff go, but they've been pretty fair, so. Been doing it both ways. White can't find anybody. Finally gets it to Wise way up top. Finds Starrett on the wing, gets it into Bennett. Nice pass by Brady Ellis into Connor Bennett, but Bennett gets blocked from behind. We finally worked the ball around, finally got a good look, and Union County just made a nice job. They made a nice play. Block Connor. Can't do that. Got to get something out of those. Starrett strips it away from Fields. Brady Ellis is going to take it coast to coast and get called for the charge. I don't agree with that one. I think Brady did his best to try to avoid him. I think, I think Brady probably bumped it a little bit, but oh man, so Union County's outscored us fourteen nothing in this quarter. Webb takes it up, doesn't get it. Brady Ellis gets the rebound. And looks like we're going to hold for the last shot. Maybe not. Nope. Van Winkle gets fouled by Starrett. Oh. This is ugly, boys. Alex Van Winkle's is the line to shoot a pair. First free throw is perfect. 8.7 left here in the quarter. Just get through this quarter and get to halftime. Second free throw is good. 22 to 6 Union County right now. Ellis, corner three, in and out. And that's the first half, and they just outscored us 16-0 uh, to zero that quarter. So that was ugly. Um, yeah, that was an ugly quarter. We just, we just didn't do anything offensively and defensively. We, I don't know, that was ugly. Defensively, we weren't moving our feet, weren't staying in front of guys. Offensively, we just too many rushed plays. It's like we didn't work through to get a good shot. We didn't do what, you know, Coach Bechtel was asking us to do. So we'll come back here in the second half. And I know we're going to be better than we were there. So we'll see you here in about 10 minutes.
All right, we're back here with about a minute to go before the start of the third quarter. We have a 22-6 Union County lead. It was kind of a really poor second quarter there for the Royals, but we'll see how they respond. Coach Bechtel's always good with his halftime adjustments, so we'll see how they... We'll see how they come back here and lock things down in the third quarter. Okay, as we start the... As we start the third quarter here, we have Stevens, Ellis, Ian White, Joey Sterrett, and Cameron Wise. And for the Patriots, we have Ryan Hensley. No, sorry. Mason Horning, Alex Van Winkle, Nate Webb, Blake Fields. And Hayden Aldridge looks like starters for both teams here. Patriots start with the ball. Patriots moving the ball around well. Get it inside the web. Nothing doing. Kicks it back out. Fields over to Horning. Horning throws it and stare it deflects it out of bounds. So, let's see. Webb's going to inbound the ball. Gets it into Aldridge. Up top to Van Winkle. Van Winkle drives. Over to Webb in the corner. He's driving on Starrett. And Brady Ellis reached in and grabbed him on the arm as he went up for the layup. And I call out a shooting foul. So, Nate Webb's going to go to the line to shoot a pair. First one's good. Second free throw's up. No good. Rebound by Brady Ellis. Cameron Wise will bring the ball up the court. Over to Ian White on the wing. White gets a screen to Stevens. Over to Ellis on the other wing. Back over around, and it's going to be deflected out of bounds by Blake Fields. Ian Weidel inbound. Royals setting up a play here. Get it up top to Cameron Wise, and he'll set up the offense. Patriots still in this 2-3 zone. Royals throwing it around the outside. Get to Starrett in the corner. White on the wing. White drives other opposite wing to Ellis. Down in the corner to Starrett. Up top to Wise. Wing to Ellis. Ellis drives up top to Wise. Right now we're just kind of moving the ball around. Trying to get some penetration, not having a lot of success, but again, we have to hit those threes. Finally we get into Brady Stevens and Brady gets fouled. And that's what I've been saying the entire game is we got to get it into him, but do it in a smart way. And that way we finally got it down into the corner. Brady posted up hard and we got it to Joey Starrett and Joey dumped it down to him. Brady's first one's good for our first points since the first quarter. Brady's second free throws up and good. So a 15 point lead here for the Patriots. Van Winkle's gonna push hard. Kind of out jukes wise there and ends up getting the shot. Hits the two. Cameron Wise up top, dribbling around. Over to Ellis on the wing. Into Starrett in the corner for three, and Starrett hits it. (laughs) 
our first three-pointer of the game. Webb drives, kicks it over to Aldridge in the corner. Aldridge drives on Ian White, no good. Gets his own rebound. And they're going to call a foul on Starrett. I think when he was trying to kick it back out. They said that Joey grabbed him on the arm. Ah. You guys are something. There we go. Poked it away. Stevens comes up with the steal, and Bechtel wants us to run, but we're just not doing it right now. White to Wise to Ellis, corner to Starrett. He has Stevens again, but, I, I mean, Joey just burned that thing into Brady, and you're six feet away. We can't throw it that hard unless you're going to hit him right in the hands. Three-pointer was no good by Fields. And they called, what did they call there? They called Horning for something under the basket. I couldn't tell what that was, but called him for a push as Brady Ellis was trying to block him out. Either way, we'll get the ball back. Down 14. 4.06 to go here. Third quarter. White gets a screen from Stevens. White drives. 10-footer runner, no good. Rebound's knocked around. Aldridge came down with it, and then I think we just hugged him trying to get a jump ball called. But we're going to call it on Brady. Stevens, not Ellis. Ben Winkle, hounded by Wise, loses the handle but gets it back. Gets it up top to Fields. Oh, yeah, Webb just set a nice screen on Ian White, but then he decided to finish it off with a shove. Wise, three from the wing is good. Finally, we've hit our last two threes. And Coach Bechtel wants a timeout. We finally bring it within 11 with 3.09 to, to go here in the third quarter. Eastern Hancock, 14, Union County, 25. Union County's going to inbound underneath the Royals' basket. Eastern putting on some full court pressure here. Looks like just man pressure all the way across. Wise is doing a nice job of keeping Van Winkle in front of him. I say that, I need to knock on wood because he'll probably 
get beat the next one. Tate Swafford came into the game during that break there for the Patriots. Fakes on Ellis, drives, gets it down low, but doesn't find anything. Gets it up top. Fields tries to dish it over to Aldridge, but Stevens with the active hands pokes it away. Union County inbounds under their own basket. Fields gets it, dribbles up top. It's over to Aldridge on the wing. Aldridge hits a cutting vein, or wasn't Van Winkle? Who was that? Sherwood. Let's stare it deters the shot, and we come away with it again. Let's go. Let's hit another one. Get it down to single digits. Wise will shoot the three from the wing and hit it. There we go, Cameron. 17 to 25, back down to an eight-point lead. There we go. Good hustle by Stevens as he picks off the pass there. Intended for Blake Fields. Well, it's nothing doing. Cross court to White. White drives. Ten foot runner. No good, but good rebound by Stevens. But, ah, Stevens trying to go. Great hustle by Brady, but then misses trying to throw it off the defender out of bounds. So Brady with a great play on one end and then dumb foul on the other. Puts uh, Aldridge to the line. Aldridge hits the first. Ah. Got a little bit of a run going. Aldridge misses the second. Stevens gets the rebound. Nine point lead for the Patriots. Wise up to Ellis, and it's knocked away by Aldridge out of bounds to the Royals. Ellis with the inbound here. Just going to throw it back up top to Wise. Patriots still in the 2-3. It's been pretty good for them. Stared in the corner with the ball up top to Wise. Over to White. Three from the wing. Got it. Law of average is starting to work out here as we've hit three in a row from behind that arc. Makes it 26 to 20. Actually, I think we've hit four in a row from behind the arc. Van Winkle, three from up top. No good. Rebound. Stare it. Oh. Wise tries to throw it into Stevens, but again. Great. I mean, Brady was in position. Great look by Cameron, but you got to know Brady's vertical limitations there. Good hands by Ellis. Knocks it away. Van Winkle comes up with it. Thought it was a jump ball, but they didn't call it, so. Ended up getting it. Ellis comes back up with it. White misses the shot. Ellis with the rebound. Ellis misses it. Stevens with the rebound. Out to White. Misses it. Stare it with the rebound into White. And finally, <laughs> we hit the floater. Ian White makes it 22-26. to Four-point game here with 13 to go in the quarter, 13 seconds. Van Winkle gets the screen up top. Help from Ellis. Stare it comes in, bodies him up. Oh. Just come in quick, Joey. Be, be a step quicker, and you don't have to hit him with the hip. I think Joey was afraid of giving up the corner three there and just hesitated that half second. Van Winkle hits the first free throw. 3.1 seconds to go here in the quarter. Van Winkle's second free throw is no good. Stevens with the Stevens with the rebound, and he tried to outlet it and got drilled on the arm. They're going to call it white ball with a tenth of a second here on the clock. Ah, 
Obviously can't get a shot up with a tenth of a second. So the score there, nice run by the Royals. Finally got something going that quarter. Nice run to bring the game back within five, and it's 27 to 22 here to start the fourth quarter. So great quarter for Eastern. Let's just keep that momentum rolling. I mean, that's all we got to do right now. Just keep it going. If we can keep hitting those shots. If we keep hitting those threes, it's opening up driving lanes because they're having to close out harder, and we're seeing that. Ian's got a couple of floaters. He hasn't. He's only hit one of them, I believe, but he's got a couple good runners in the lane. Um, Brady Stevens has gotten in the lane a couple times. So we're getting those looks. We're getting those shots. We just... You know, it all came from hitting a couple threes. We knocked down a couple threes, and everything else opened up inside of it. So let's keep doing that, boys. We're only down five here, so we got a full seven minutes to change that as well. So we got time. The Eastern basketball here to start the fourth quarter. Looks like Union County is going to a man defense. Ian White drives right by his man and hits the layup. Union County only had four players on the court. That, that does um, impede your progress when you only have four guys on the court. So maybe that's why we got such an easy layup there. I don't know. Um, the coaches just kind of look baffled, I, and now they're counting, and I think the coaches – Somebody forgot to tell somebody to go in. I know that. That's why in football we always have the guy in the press box count how many guys are going in on special teams and how many guys are on the field because they're high school kids. They do mess up occasionally. Now Union County with five and Eastern with five. Van Winkle brings it up court. White pinches down. Webb manages to beat Ellis, drive in the lane, and get the layup. Now the Patriots back in their zone. Ellis drains the three from the wing and makes it 27-29, two-point game. Maybe that wasn't a zone last time. Maybe that was just a, uh, a four Four-man defense. Van Winkle goes to the ground. Webb, corner three, no good. Rebound, Stevens. Ellis with the ball in the wing, nothing. Up top to Wise. Wise pulls it out. Down the corner to Starrett. Starrett, cross court to Ian White for three. No good, but he got knocked down by Webb. And Ian's going to get three free throws. So Ian White is going to shoot three. First free throw, no good. Five forty to play here. Ian's second free throw, perfect. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Royals trail by a point. Ian's got one more. Shot is up and short, and rebound to Swafford. He's going to push, but nothing doing. Gives it over to Sherwood on the far wing. Up top to Horning. He's going to drive on Stevens. Not going to get it, and Starrett's going to get the rebound. Royals down by a point. 5.22 left here in the fourth quarter. We've clawed all the way back. We were down 16 at halftime, and we have clawed all the way back to within a point. Let's finish this here, guys. 
Flies up top to White over to Ellis. Ellis drives. Hits the little shot from the volleyball line. <laughs> Trying to draw the contact. Doesn't get the foul, but does get the shot, and that's going to cause a Patriot timeout. Eastern Hancock takes their first lead since it was 6-4 to four early on in the first quarter. So 30-29 to 29 Eastern by a point. This has been a great comeback by these guys. I think I know Coach Bechtel. I know he challenged them there in the locker room, and they're doing a great job of fighting back here. So that's a full timeout here. We're getting ready to go back. i will be interested to see what Union County's doing. They're offensively, they're they're not doing anything different. Eastern's just playing harder. We're not giving up dumb, you know, easy layups and things like that. And it's making all the difference. So the Patriots will inbound. Their ball, they're down by a point. Van Winkle working on wise. Van Winkle's a pretty good ball handler. And Cameron Wise gets the five-second call. Van Winkle picked up the, the dribble, but nobody helped him out. It was like they were just kind of running around. They didn't realize he picked up his dribble and... Wise manages to get the five-second call. Good job, Cameron. Stare at the Stevens. Ellis in the corner. Ellis up top to White. White gets it inside to Brady Stevens. Across to Brady Ellis for three. No good. Rebound by Horning and... Starrett fouls him. Van Winkle brings it up court. Patriots basketball. Eastern Hancock leads by a point, and there was a travel by Horning. Four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Wise over to Starrett. Starrett, quick three. No good. And that's going to lead to a fast break here for the Patriots. Van Winkle takes it in, misses, but Starrett manages to get the rebound. Ellis drives, nothing. Kicks out to Starrett. Starrett drives, crossed over to White. White up top to Ellis. I don't know that there's been a substitution for the Royals here in the second half. These guys have played really hard and played well. I think Coach Bechtel's challenged them. And they've responded so far. So Ellis with the ball up top over to Stevens on the wing. Up top to Ian White, up top to Wise. Over to Starrett. Inside to Brady Stevens. Stevens. Oh, they're going to call that on the floor. Oh, man. They're going to call Horning with the push in the back. Five team fouls on Union County. Nice slip there by Brady Stevens. A good find by Ian White. Puts us back up by three. Nicely done there. Good, good job by Brady being inconspicuous on the slip. Good job by Ian of getting that ball in there. Being patient, not hurrying or anything. Webb with White guarding him. 
Cross court to Van Winkle. Van Winkle pull up shot. No good. Rebound Starrett. Two thirty to go here. Wise brings the ball across. Cameron gets it over to Joey. Joey lobs it into Stevens. Brady's got to be a little bit more physical with that. He got the ball knocked away, but it bounces off of a Patriot. Royals try the same inbound play. Nothing, nothing doing though. Union County sniffed it out that time. Wise over to Starrett. Up top to White. Two minutes to go here as Cameron Wise drives. Throws it back to Starrett. Starrett fade away, 15-footer, no good. But Stevens gets the rebound. Out to Wise in the corner for three, no good. But Brady Ellis gets the rebound. Great hustle here by the Royals to keep that possession alive twice. Ian White drives back to Ellis. Ah. Steal there by the steal there by Aldridge and the layup makes it back to a one point game. 32 31 with a minute 27 to go. And that's one of those plays I know Ian White would love to have that throw back and Starrett would love to have that chance to grab that back because we got a little lax. We were moving it around. Ian probably didn't put quite enough zip on it, and Joey probably didn't go after it quite hard enough. But that's one of those I know Coach Bechtel here during this timeout is going to talk to them about being aware and going after the ball, being physical with it, grabbing the ball, being, you know, controlling what they're doing. We have a one-point lead. We don't have to force anything, you know, crazy here. We just have to make plays, hang on to the ball. So we're going to get the ball back here. Let's see, under the Union County basket, full court pressure here from the Patriots. Brady Stevens will inbound. Brady throws it into Cameron Wise. Wise breaks the pressure all by himself. Throws to Ellis. Smart. Smart move there by Brady Ellis. Ellis could have forced something, but chooses to pull it out instead. Wise over to White. Back over to Ellis. Ellis up top to stare it. Minute to go here. Cameron Wise up top with the ball. Gets it down to Starrett in the corner, and Starrett's fouled. That's going to be the sixth team foul on the Patriots. So the next one should put us in the one-on-one. Ellis, kind of a bad spot to inbound this ball down in his own corner here on the sideline. Can't hear what they call it. Looks like uh, 34, Mason Horning knocked it away. Gives us a little better angle on the inbound anyway. 57 seconds to go here in the game. Royals by a point. Inbound in the ball. And Ellis finds Wise. He finds Starrett. And Joey gets fouled. Nice job there. Let's knock these down, Joe. Fouls on 22, Nate Webb. I don't think anybody's in foul trouble for either team. There were only about five or six total fouls in the first half, so everybody should be good. But Joey Starrett here is going to shoot one and one. First free throws up and good. <laughs> Two-point lead here. Hit the next one, make it a three-pointer. It'll be good. There at second is good. 53 to go here in the game. Aldridge with the ball in the wing. Up top to Webb. Webb thought about the three, didn't like it. Van Winkle corner three, no good. Rebound Brady Ellis. And Coach Bechtel gets the timeout called. I think the ref down on this side was getting ready to call a foul. 
Uh, I think we had the foul call here from this ref on our side. 32.8 seconds left here. Royals by three, 34-31. This is after trailing by 16 at halftime. So we've had a great second half here. We've knocked down shots. We've played much more aggressively. And we, has, we haven't forced anything. We haven't forced any bad shots this half. And I say that, and we'll probably come down and jack up a three from the volleyball line just for fun. But, you know, smart basketball here in the second half, and they've really responded to the challenge. So let's see here. 32.8, we're going to have the ball. We're going to have to go the length of the court. We're going to be down in that odd sideline corner. We'll see what Union County chooses to do. 32 seconds. I mean, you've got time. I think you still go for a steal, obviously. You don't foul right away. Um, so we'll see if they how they go for their steal and see what they can do. So Brady Stevens is going to inbound here. Stevens gets it into Wise, and Wise is fouled right away by Van Winkle. So, again, interesting interesting strategy there. It's a foul right away. Maybe they were just going to see where the ball got inbounded to, and if they could trap, they would trap. If not, foul. But Cameron Wise will shoot one and one here. 32.2 32.2 seconds. Cameron's free throws up. No good. And looks like a lane violation on Eastern. I'm not sure who stepped across. It was either Ellis or Starrett. Or Wise himself. I don't think it was Wise himself. 30 seconds left here. Come on, boys. Van Winkle just drove to the corner. I don't know where he was going. It looked like he was running right at the mascot over there. But Van Winkle drives right to the corner and almost lost the ball. Union County manages to get the timeout called with 24 and a half left on the clock. And... That was a lucky break for them because I think Cameron Wise was about to tie him up, although I can't see the possession arrow from where we're at. I think it is a Union County ball. So 24 and a half seconds left. Uh, Union County will have the ball out over there in the corner. Um, Right over there, if you could see uh, Patty the Patriot over there in the corner, should be right next to him. Swafford's going to inbound here for Union County. Gets it into Van Winkle. Try to get it up top to Webb. Webb drives and gets fouled. And he was not going to hit that shot. There was no way. He went in there in a wild way, and there's no way he's going to hit that shot. But I think Ellis was thinking better safe than sorry, and Brady just grabbed him. Webb's first one's good. Two-point lead for the Royals, 16 seconds left. Webb's second one is good. And Hunter Sherwood's going to replace Webb. Brady Stevens, he can move if he has to here. He's going to inbound. I don't know what they were doing. Ian and Cameron set the screen and went before Brady even had the ball in his hands. So that was 
poorly timed by us. Causes Coach Bechtel to have to burn a timeout. I'd like to thank Zach Bennett here, who's helped me out with the camera work tonight. He's doing a good job. Okay, so again, 16 seconds. It's our ball. Let's go, guys. Let's get it in. Coach Beckel drew something else up here, so let's see what happens. Actually waited to set the screen this time. And there comes White free. They're going to foul Ian. Two seconds came off. Ian's going to go shoot one and one. These are huge. Foul is on Tate Swafford. Webb's going to come back in the game. He and Sherwood, a little offensive, defensive substitution there. Okay, so we just lost audio there because someone kicked our plug out. So we're finally back here. 8.7 seconds left. Royals lead by a point. Royals will be in the double bonus. They'll get two shots if they get fouled again. Union County is going to inbound from the sideline. See what happens here. Webb gets the ball, fade away, no good. Rebound Brady Ellis, and Brady gets fouled with .3 seconds to go, and that will be the game, folks. Good job there. So Brady will get two shots. It shouldn't really matter because three-tenths of a second shouldn't be long enough for them to heave up a shot anyway. You almost want to miss the second one on purpose because the only way they could get a shot is if he makes it and they could inbound it. Otherwise, they got to grab it and try to chuck it over their head. But he does make it. There we go. Good job there by the Royals. To top off the comeback there, Eastern Hancock with a great comeback, down 16 at halftime, comes back, holds Union County to only 11 in the second half, and we scored 29. So great job there, Royals. Good job coming back. They kept fighting. They never gave up. A great game by those boys. Finish the game 35-33. Um, I do not have scoring numbers because I don't have a – an assistant with me here tonight, so I don't have any scoring numbers. So we're going to have uh, about 20 minutes here for the varsity to warm up, and then we will get started. So we'll be back here in about 20 minutes. Don't go away.
All right, we're back here. We're about two minutes to go before the start of the varsity basketball game between the Eastern Hancock Royals and the Union County Patriots. A little bit of stats and info here before the game, before the starting lineups. Uh, Union County comes into this game. They're 8-3. and three, And really, I don't want to say they're, they're untested, but... They've got all eight wins. I think they've they've beaten one team with the winning record. And their three losses are against pretty good 3A schools. Uh, Connersville is, I think, a 4A, actually. So it's almost like they've lost who they're supposed to lose to and they've beaten who they're supposed to beat. So we really don't know what to expect out of the Patriots tonight. I mean, they're a good, solid team. They're always a good, solid team. But as far as uh, particulars, we really don't know. The Royals uh, come in 8-2. and two. They've lost uh, games to North Decatur and the Wapahani Raiders was their last game. Lost on a heartbreaking three right at the buzzer. Um, but, you know, the Royals have been playing sharp all season, been playing well all season. But, again, you know, haven't played a lot of teams the caliber of the, with the record of the Patriots. So we really have to see here how... Each team comes out tonight. It should be a great game. Um, and like I said, we're looking forward to it. So it uh, looks like we have the anthem here. So we'll co- be back and after that. All right, so starting the game off here for the Royals tonight. Uh, we got number one, Tyler Castle. Number 15, A.J. Maggie. Number five, Duncan Cherry. Number 21, Addison True. And number 50, Jacob Eichen. Number 10, so starters here for the Patriots, uh, who have a lot of seniors. Uh, number 10, Cameron, Cameron Sanford. Number 12, Preston Scott. Number 20, Cameron Donovan, 6'5 forward there. Number 22, Mason Miller, 6'1 guard. Number 44, Denton Shepler, a 5'11 forward. So um, other than the 6'5 uh, big man here in the middle, 
Um, you got five seven, five eight. Got some some short guys here starting out for the Patriots. So up to jump, Cameron Donovan, Duncan Cherry. We'll jump up here to start this game. Cherry tips it, but the Royals can't corral it, and Preston Scott manages to handle it. Royals come out in that customary 2-3 zone. Addison True picks off the pass right off the what? Right off the bat. Goes up and no good. Knocked out of bounds. Looks like Royal basketball. Cherry gets it in. Maggie with the ball up top to Castle. Gets it down inside to Aishin. Aishin with the pump fake up and no good. Rims out. That's two in a row that we've had on the rim and just haven't wanted to go down. But that was good ball movement to get started there for us. Number 10, Sanford with the ball. Kicks it over to Scott on the wing. Scott looking inside. Nothing doing. Back out to Sanford. Gets it to the free throw line to Shepler. Out to Scott in the corner and he hits the three. Preston Scott with the first points of the game, and the Patriots lead 3-0. Maggie back over to True on the wing. True standing there, not much happening. Patriots here in a man-to-man defense. Cherry thought about the three, didn't like it, drives in, loses the ball, knocked away there by Cameron Donovan, and Eastern will keep possession of it. Cherry to inbound. Nobody's getting open, and he gets to Castle deep. Castle over to True. True inside to Cherry. Cherry loses the handle, goes up. I think Cherry double dribbled. Now they're going to call travel. I think Duncan was trying to be physical there, but ended up traveling. So Sanford's going to bring it up. Over to Scott. Back over to Sanford. Back over to Scott. Over to Sanford. In the corner to Miller. Top to Sanford. Sanford drives. Dishes to Scheffler, who that ball hit every side of the rim in the backboard and finally fell in. And it's 5 nothing in favor of the Patriots. True drives. Dishes to Aishin. Back out to Meggie. AJ with the screen from Aishin. In and out. That's our third shot that's been in and out. But good job by Duncan Cherry knocking around. Castle with the rebound. And then Duncan Cherry gets the foul, trying to go up for the, trying to go up for the rebound. His first, team's first, the Union County basketball. Sanford tries getting it into Shepler, and it's picked off there by the Royals. Aishin finally comes away with it. True walks it up court. Addison True with Preston Scott working on him. True drives, kicks to Maggie. Maggie drives, kicks to Cherry. Cherry thought about the three up top, didn't like it. True likes the deep three and drains it. Addison True from about four feet behind the three-point line drains that one to bring the Royals back within two. Five to three here early on in the first quarter. Scheffler up top with the ball. Over to Sanford in the corner. Sanford. Up top to Miller. Miller over to Preston Scott. Three from right up top. In and out. Maggie with the rebound. Addison True likes another deep three and drains that one. That's two in a row for Addison True, and he single-handedly brings Eastern up by one. Miller drives, throws it right to Tyler Castle, kicks it ahead to True. True drives up and in. Addison True, eight points here to start the game for the Royals. And the Royals lead by three. Sanford up top. Over to Shepler, down inside to Miller. 
Puts it up. Good defense by Aishin. Forces the bad shot. And Maggie comes away with it. Castle cross court to Cherry. Cherry corner three. Hits it. Duncan Cherry. And it's 11 to 5. Donovan inside to Scheffler. Gets it knocked away. Castle gets it, but then Castle gets it poked away by Preston Scott. Scheffler up top. Thought about the three over to Scott. Over to Sanford. Back up to Scheffler. Out to Scott. He'll take that three and drains it. And Preston Scott's got a pair of threes. Good ball movement there by the Patriots. Patriots in the zone. Ooh, nice job into Eichen. Back out to Meggie. Meggie misses. And Scheffler comes away with the ball. That's a good look by A.J., though. Sanford over to Donovan. Back over to Sanford. Scott in the corner. Sanford up top. Over to Miller. Three from the corner is way long. A.J. gets the rebound. Addison True walking up court. Just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Patriots here in 2-3 zone. True takes it. Dishes nice pass into Duncan Cherry. And Duncan uh, Duncan just, uh, I think, was anticipating contact and ended up shooting it into the bottom of the rim. I think he anticipated it and didn't get it. And... Ended up knocking it out of bounds. So number 32, Joey Weller, comes into the game. He's a six-foot senior guard for the Patriots. Royals still by three. Weller with the ball. Looking inside, doesn't get it out to Sanford. Over to Preston Scott. Scott thought about the three, didn't like it. Back to Sanford. Nice job there. They tried to get it across court and Weller, but Castle with the deflection. And Addison True comes up with the loose ball. True's going to shoot that. And True's going to hit that. Addison True with his third three of the quarter. And the Royals are up by six. He's feeling it right now. Sanford up top. Over to Weller. Back to Sanford, to Scott in the corner. Scott cross court to Weller. Weller fakes, nothing there. Sanford up top. Weller on the wing. Weller drives, kicks to Scott. Opposite wing, misses. And rebound there by Durth. Didn't see Derek Durth come into the game. And Preston Scott hits the layup. And he, Duncan Cherry, long three, air ball. That was not even close. And into the game for the Patriots, number 22, Mason Miller back in for the Royals. Uh, 13, Tyler Blattner, a senior. And 43, Peyton Gray, a junior, into the game. Weller, up top to Miller. Back out, Weller, three from the corner, hits it. Thirteen, fourteen, one point game here. Forty-three seconds to go here. See if Coach Spalding wants to hold for the last shot. True's just kind of dribbling around. It looks like Union County is going to let him hold for that shot, too. True's directing traffic, getting guys where he wants them. 15 on the clock here. Over to Maggie, back up to True. True's not getting what he wants. Out to Blattner. 
three from the corner, fadeaway, no good. Peyton Gray tips it up, but no, no, sorry, stuttered there. Nothing happening. And we're going to end the quarter. An exciting quarter there. For the Royals, so 14-13. I'm about to be joined here by uh, Terry Stevens. Hi, Terry. How's it going? Good evening, Michael. Terry just came late. He didn't choose. He chose not to watch his son's game in the first game, so he just showed up now. I'm joking, obviously. Wouldn't have been good for me to talk while watching Brady play. No, probably not. Good quarter there by Addison True. Addison had 9, 10, 11 of our points. Duncan had the other three. And then on the Union County side, Preston Scott had eight. Weller had three, and Scheffler had two. So this may turn into a shootout between Scott and True before we're all said and done here. Only one foul called in that half to earn that quarter, too, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, a lot of, both both teams run a 2-3 zone, so typically you won't see a whole lot of fouls with the 2-3 zones. No. So Royal start with the ball. Schroep came in. Uh, he's going to replace Castle. True long three. Looks like it got deflected. I think that got blocked. Yeah, yeah. That's you're not calling it that they way. They didn't call though. it that way, but I think that shot got blocked. There's no way he missed that two bad. feet to the right. Sanford bringing the ball up for the Patriots. He's going to look, gets it to Weller in the corner. Back up to Sanford. Over to Donovan. Donovan lobs it into uh, Scheffler, and Scheffler hot pass to Weller. Drops it in the corner. So, Schroep will bring it up. Whirls up by a point. True over to Schroep. Back up top to True. Addison drives, jump stop, kicks to AJ. It's good look, though. That's I know. a good drive and kick. I mean, that's good offense. Hard wow. take there by Donovan. And Peyton Gray tries to force a bad shot, but Donovan still knocks it in, and that gives the Patriots a one-point lead. Blattner up top to Schroep. Schroep back to Blattner on the wing. Three on the way is no good, too long. True gets the rebound. True over to Stroke, back up top to True. In the corner to Peyton Gray, up top to True. You can tell even when Addison's at the volleyball line, he's still kind of halfway considering shooting that. Oh, yeah, he's, he's looking. Over to Stroke in the corner, up top to Blattner. Got to get some penetration or get the ball inside here to A.J., one and two. Yeah, Union County, they did in the JV oh. game, too. Really good job to die in the high post. Uh, and Peyton Gray, just a bad pass there, gets deflected, and another turnover. This is Sanford working over to Weller. Union County setting up a play. Back over to Weller. Deep three by Sanford, no good, and Weller tries tracking it down and knocks it out of bounds. You're right, in the JV game, they did a great job of denying that high post. Yeah, if you can get in that high post, then the low post is typically open, but they've got, they're pretty active and makes it makes it pretty hard to get it in there to AJ. And we've got to have somebody besides Addison hit a three yeah, here yeah. to really spread them out. That's kind of what happened in the JV game. See if Blattner can do it. Blattner's is. three is good. We've hit five threes and one two. Wow. It's not unusual, though, for us. We no. like the three. Sanford gets to Donovan up top. Donovan, nice pass inside to uh, Shepler. Yeah, that guy running the baseline. We, we tend to we tend, we tend to, to lose him. Yeah, yeah, we, we keep coming up too high. And then that, you can find him. It's a layup. And it's every game. It's not just this game. Yep. I don't know. Yep. We tend to 
tend to get a little too high and get a little too extended. True from the wing. Got buries again. another one. Addison True. And then True gets there the steal. Good and take. Sanford Good fouls take. him. Get somebody on your hip like that, you go to the basket. Yep. Should be shooting free throws at the worst. First foul of the game for the Patriots. And they're going to call a timeout. I don't think their coach is too happy that they're letting Addison shoot the way he is right yeah. now. Yep. He's really the only one scoring at this point. So yeah, he, I mean, Blattner just hit that one three, yep. and Duncan hit one real early. But, but I think if we, we hit another three, we hit a – we get somebody else, but hopefully there, Blattner gets going. We could spread them out and get it to A.J. there in the high post. Yeah. Yep. So on the floor for Union County, you got Preston Scott, Denton Shepler, uh, Cameron Donovan, Derek Durth, and I can't see who's hunched over there. Looks like Mason Miller. For Eastern, we've got uh, Jacob Eichen just came back in, Skyler Schrope, Tyler Blattner, Tyler Castle, and then Addison True, who's at the line shooting a pair. Addison's long on the first one. And he's short on the second one. I like to see him slow down a little bit on that free throw mm -hmm. shot. It's He barely looked at the basket that time before he even shot his free throws. I don't, this year, I don't know his percentage off the top of my head, but it's, it, it, it hasn't been good. Yeah, it can't be close to what it was last year. No. I don't know if he's, if he's changed something, but it's definitely his accuracy's down. There's that baseline guy again. Yep. And again, that was Shepler again. Or no, that was Derek Durth. We get sucked up too high. You know their coach has seen that by watching film through the year. Trope gets it down inside to Aishin. Aishin, ah, he had still him. up with that, Jake. Yep, drop step, and he faded away and threw it away. And it's the same. I mean, Brady had the same kind of size and strength advantage in the other yep. game. Yep. You know, if we could get it, and there's another one. Yep, baseline guy and open again. Coach Spalding's calling a timeout because he is not happy right now. Ball's on. I mean, what is that, three in a row that yeah. we haven't dropped? And yeah. it's 21-20 Add now. Yeah, Addison has to drop down there. He's on the weak side. He's got to drop down and stop that pass. You know, and it's it's one of those things, it's just knowing where the guys are at. You yep. know what's coming. Yep. But he's gotten a couple of those steals up here up on the wing, and I think he's anticipating that, yep. and he's given up that baseline. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's lived and died with that all year. Been, you've seen him come out a couple times for overplaying and getting out of position, giving up a layup. and that. But that was just not knowing where the backside guy was, where the weak side guy yes. was on the baseline for about the fourth time. Yeah, and Coach Spaulding called a timeout there just to rip into both of his uh, low guys there in the 2-3. True gets to Cherry. Cherry back up to True. Want to take him. Get Over to Castle in the corner. Ah. That thing was halfway down. Yep. Scott with the ball. As many layups as we've given up, we're lucky we're only down one. I know. Well, our, we've and been only. shooting the lights out on yep. three. Yep. Shepler with the three, no good. Rebound True. True's going to pull up. That was not the best shot. No, that wasn't a good shot. Looks like a sub may be coming in. I'm speculating. You know, I think this is just speculation, but I think Addison's getting a little tired because when he gets tired, he starts forcing some stuff, both yep. offensively and defensively. Yep. Somebody's got to help him score, though. Yes, they do. 
there at us, and he did pretty good on the backside yep. there. Yeah, after after Coach Spalding got into him a little bit, he he's pretty aware where he's at. There, uh, there he let 42 slip right through him. There's 20 Donovan with the little short jumper. And I think he's he knows where he's at now, yep. but he still has to be yep. in a position to make a play, deny that pass. Get it in, be strong, Jake. Yeah. Gotta be ready to shoot that. Gotta be strong, gotta be strong there. I, nope, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. AJ came in for Tyler Blattner. Yep. I can see Aishan be a little bit more uh, often uh, scoring minded when he catches it down low. I know he's a good passer, but he can do so much with his strength. <coughs> now, now Union, Union County's gone to a man to man, and AJ has a mismatch here. If we can, if we can get it to him, go back up, Jacob. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. I'm going to call the push there on Jake. I don't agree with that. But I think they actually called that one on uh, Cherry. Oh, they called that on Cherry? I'm pretty sure. But he may have not said 5-0, but I, I saw the Cherry. five. I didn't. That would be Duncan second. Yeah. I mean, Coach Spaulding didn't take him out. So no. I'm, I'm going to guess maybe he did say 5-0 there. Yeah. Good, good active good hands hand. there by AJ. Good job, Jay. Got a jump ball. Should be Patriot basketball here. Okay, I think it, think it was on. Just checking. I think that last foul was on Jacob. Okay. Yeah, that that ref. I saw the five. I never saw the zero, but. Now I'm going to call travel there on Donovan. You know, Tyler Castle this year has had the most active hands. Yes, he has. That, and that's kept him on the court a lot this year. Because really, he started out the season just hotter than hot from three-point range. He yep. hasn't shot great yep. lately, but his defense has been really good. Oh, yeah. True. Oh, good, a little bit good of a follow, force, but good, good, good follow. follow by Cherry. If you get to the basket, somebody's got to help. So then yep. somebody's typically not boxed out, and Duncan uh, benefited from that. Union County's going to hold for the last shot here. Oh, good. Nice job. Good job there by Cherry and Castle of attacking that and forcing the turnover. Yeah, it looked like Sanford may have been looking back at his coach. Mm -hmm. He came up to trap, put pressure on him, he threw it away. So this will give us a shot for the last shot, and maybe we could take the lead here going into halftime. Yep. I want this shot to go up as the buzzer sounding, and it did not. No. And that's why right here, now they have a chance to score. Although that was not a good yeah. shot by him, but. So that'll be 23-22 at halftime. Patriots lead by a point. Let's see, Preston Scott started out hot. He had. Eight of their first ten, but he hasn't done anything in the second quarter. Cameron Donovan has four. Joey Weller has three. Derek Durth has six. And Denton Scheffler has two. If I'm all caught up on my scoring. Duncan, for us, has five and one foul. Blattner's got three, and then Addison has the rest. So Addison's got 14. We've got to get somebody else involved. Yeah. You know, because Duncan's... Well, Duncan hit a three and Blattner hit a three, but then Duncan's two was off an offensive rebound. We've got to get something else going offensively. Uh, we've got to help. It is good to see Duncan scoring, though, getting those five points. Uh, that um, that may be a little the confidence. That be maybe the most I've seen him score yep. in at least three or four games, I believe. And he's certainly been more aggressive this game than we've seen him in several uh -huh. games in a row now. Yes. So that's. Well, just, I wonder, I think he. Uh, you know, last week, Shrope started, Yep. and maybe that was a little bit of a motivator for him to yep. to play a little bit more aggressively. So yep. So we'll see coming back after halftime. Uh, they haven't started the clock yet, so we'll have – oh, no, they just started it. So we'll have 10 minutes left here in halftime, and then 
We'll be back after that.
right, we're back here to start the second half. Eastern's going to start with the ball. Down a point, 23-22. to 22. Looks like Eastern went with their starters. Yep, I think Union County did the same. AJ up top. Tries to take his man off the dribble, gets it to True. Nice ball movement there. Yep. AJ drives. Cross court, Castle, three in the corner. Short. Good rebound, Addison. Good hustle. Ah. Ooh. Got away with the travel, I think. Yep. Good look to Duncan for a layup. A lot more aggressive than we were at any point in the first half right there, though. So we're up, back up by a point. Good hands, good active hands nice again. I think they call a jump ball on that. So that is, sorry, I have my thing turned around. Sanford up top with the ball. Lobs it over to Scott. Sanford back up top. Shepler on the wing. Eastern play in their usual 2-3 zone. Yep. Not really allowing much to happen, but Scott dead on three. Hits it. Started the second half the way he did the first. Yep. Just kind of found that soft spot between uh, Castle and Cherry. Shepler back to Scott. Ooh, I thought Scott was going to launch another one. Yep. There. I got to be able to find him. Yeah, Scott. So Scott's got it back up top over to Sanford. His three is no good. Cherry's going to get a rebound. Yeah, Duncan, like you said, definitely playing his most aggressive game probably of the year. Yep. Addison fell down. I don't think there was any need for that. No. Where was he going? There was nowhere to go on that. No. I think he was trying to make something out of nothing. Yep. You notice what... Um, Union County's done. They've moved the 6-5 Donovan down low. Yep. We just hit that layup. They've moved him down low, and now you've got Addison True guarding him on the backs on the weak side there. Right. And I think it, they're looking to get him a lob. Yep. Absolutely. Because you've got about a 8-inch height differential. Nice elevation. Yeah, nice good shot, pull AJ. up by AJ. Hopefully that gets him going. So Union County by two. Scott, wide open three from the wing. Drains I, it. I don't know how that, how, how in the world wide, can that happen? How does he get that open? That was one, basically one pass. AJ's going to try to respond. No. Aishin knocks it out of bounds. Nope. Looks like Aishin, I think Aishin knocked it out of bounds, yeah, but they're going to give so us the too. ball. We'll take the gift. Ah. Not the strongest of passes. Do it with a purpose. Yep. Addison, three, long. Rebound Donovan. Shepler brings it up into Donovan. There, there, look at Scott. No, oh, he didn't shoot it. I'm surprised. Gets it inside to Miller. Back out to Sanford. Over to Scott. Good cut by Donovan. Yeah. Offensive Actually, rebound by Shepler. That was a good hustle by Shepler. Yep. He's getting outplayed. Outplayed right now. Yeah. Castle gets called for the push there. Yeah, defensively, we're just not. Uh, we're just getting that work. And Aishin just picks up his second right there, Fallon Shepler. I believe Scott is their leading three-point shooter. 
or leading scorer in general. It's a bad cross court cross yeah. court pass by Union County. But we'll take I'll take it. Addison, Addison true with goes coast to coast. And Sanford's going to bring it back up. Looks like uh, 42 and 32. Dearth and Weller are coming back in here for the Patriots. There's trapping. Trapping. Yep, got him. There. That, Good job. Forced the steal. Nice job. Good Aishu. lead. Good lead. Good Layup. job. True. Layup for Addison. Good and, pass by Jacob Aisha. And Addison definitely traveled there. Absolutely. They got the NBA call. It's not a travel if they don't call. Nope. I thought I thought Aishin was going to try to lead the fast break there. <laughs> yeah. But I think he realized that that wasn't a good idea. Another three for 22. Mason Miller. So far this half, we've given up three three-pointers. So Aishin long two. No good. Rebound. Way to, good dunk. Fought for by Cherry, and then Cherry fouls Donovan. But that's a good aggressive that's, play, but he doesn't need that right at the end. Right, yep. That little bit right at the end was unnecessary. Yeah, once he realized he wasn't going to get the ball, he just get back at that point. Peyton Gray and Tyler Blatton are in. Yep. Castle, for, Castle and Aishin. Yeah, Castle and Aishin. Royals trail by four, Union County basketball. Weller, long three, no good. Oh, that was out on Blattner. <laughs> we'll take another one. That was definitely out on yeah, that Blattner. Was, should be Union County ball. <laughs> Union County's, looks like they're going man, they're man to man. Yep. Now this is where again. This is where their big, uh, big advantage for yeah, look, AJ. Get yes, and a very long three-pointer by Addison. I think AJ's got an advantage, and I think Blattner does. Blattner yep. has uh, number twenty Donovan on him. Yes, and I think Blattner can can outmaneuver him. But I think you can post AJ up, yep. like you said. Yep. And he was there. They just yep. didn't look for it. Just didn't look. At, AJ was posting up. We just didn't look. Scott for three. Nope. AJ, AJ gets the rebound and gets knocked down. And I believe that's only the second foul of the game on Union County. And Coach Spalding wants that timeout. We're not a good uh, team at entry passes into the post. No. I mean, we just – and we don't have a true back-to-the-basket post player. We haven't in a couple years. Right. But – and I know we work on it. You know, it's not like it's something we don't, never work on. But Yeah, I see a lot of times when we will have a guy posted up and then someone someone else will actually cut right in front of them and bring their defender with them, and then the post is not there. Or we have like we had in the first half where Jake Eichen got a couple of good hard posts inside yep. and gets it, dribbles in, has a nice little, you know, right-handed hook shot but instead kicks it across court to somebody on the weak side. Right. And I'd like to see our guys go up with that. I mean, Peyton Gray is 6'7". Aishin is only about 6'3", 6'4", but he's strong. Yeah. You know, he's a, a thick a thick 6'3". Yeah. So I tell Brady all the time, I say, if you're not shooting six free throws a game, you're not doing something right. And he's not he's shooting nowhere near six free throws a game. Like, go through your defender to the basket. And that's the other thing. And you see that JV, we're real bad about it. But we're, with the exception of maybe Addison and AJ, we're not very good on the varsity of going through that guy. Yes. Yep. We're so worried about making the shot that we think that we're just going to get a foul from a little bit of contact instead yep. of going through the guy's chin and getting, yep. you know, just hammered. See, now AJ's got him. Yep. Got to get away. Got to get away. So Peyton's got to get out of the yeah, way. Yeah, Peyton's, Peyton's on the Peyton's got to clear out. But right now, there it is. Give it to him. Just won't pass it. And you're right. Peyton has to clear out because yep. Peyton's guy is Peyton's on the back too side. Much. And, and, then we'll, just, and then no no post touches and we shoot a three. And I, I think Coach Spalding was just emphasizing that because he's putting trope in. He didn't like something there. Yep. So. Peyton Gray was flying, trying to 
block that shot, and Shepler hits the layup, and we're down six. If you're six seven, you should not be jumping to block a shot. One thing I learned playing was you block a lot more shots with your feet on the ground than you do in the air. Absolutely. Yep. Good take by Addison on the baseline. Especially if you can get that guy to anticipate you jumping to swat it. You know, he may alter his shot a little bit, but then if you're already on the ground, it puts you in position to block him out mm -hmm. and get a rebound. Mm -hmm. Good ball movement there by the Patriots oh. until they throw it right to A.J. Meggy. They were trying to hit that guy on the baseline yep. again, but we actually dropped a down that AJ time. A.J. was dropped down there. 38 now, seconds left. Sorry. Now, oh. Peyton was trying to seal on this side, and we dribble away from it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's just we're not comfortable making that pass or it's like they're going to hold for one. Yeah. Well, you know, Peyton and Aisha, neither one of them are just true back to the basket type players. Right. So I, I don't know if maybe they're not comfortable with it in there and that in turn makes the guards uncomfortable with the play. I don't know. Maggie gets fouled with 1.6 left by Sanford. Probably not a bad foul that's, by Sanford. I don't think it is. That's with only that's only their second team foul. Which yeah. Only gives us uh, 1.6 seconds on the clock. That's like that's a good give. Going to be on pretty much a catch and shoot here. Got to shoot it. Not, what not we a good right look. There. You know, I saw an interesting thing in, the other day. Um, if you have a situation like that where it's under, and we had 1.6, where it's under a second, where you can't really no. catch and shoot, you cannot get called from goaltending when the ball is dead. Really? So you could theoretically shoot it from out of bounds like you're shooting it, trying to make it, and somebody could just touch it and then have it fall in. Tip it in. And you can't get called for goaltending. Wow. So... I'm sure the refs would still probably try to call goaltending oh, yeah. at this level or something. Yeah. But do they know that rule or yeah, not? Yeah, do they know the rule? Yeah. With Peyton out there, that might be a try it. Yeah. Going up there, six. He can get up there and jam. Or at least tip it in. But, yeah, we – I don't know how that would work. And, like you said, the refs probably – they may not even know. Yeah. Although it seems like – we don't have that problem so much with high school basketball as we do with football. Right. You know, for we have not played well, and the fact we're only down by four. I know. That's uh, get, we still have a chance for sure. And after the JV was down 22 to six at halftime, time it came back and won. I wouldn't put anything past this. No. We got to start taking the ball to the basket. The three's not falling, so we got to. At the, at the very least, shoot shoot some free throws here. Yep. I think we've only shot two free throws this game. So. Now, there's only been three fouls called on them all game. Right. There's another three by Blinder. Tyler. And there it goes. He got Good it. shot. Good way to start the fourth. Yep. Pulls us within one. Uh, let's see. Shepler, Miller, Scott. Um, Dearth and Donovan on the floor for the Patriots. We've got Blattner, Meggie, Shrope, Cherry, and Gray. Shot by Cameron Donovan, missed and rebound, rebounded by Tyler Blattner. Uh, Peyton Gray Peyton. out three-point line, shooting one. Donovan gets the rebound. We didn't have anybody inside to get that rebound. No. Nope. Not sure why the six seven guy was out shooting the three. There's Miller for three. Although Peyton Gray is a very good outside shooter. He is. But Blattner was fading too much there. He yeah. didn't get a good look. That he was, was not a good look. He knew he was going to shoot it and didn't get his feet set. 
and it looked like Peyton was actually sealed. He had this guy sealed, mm -hmm. posting, and we again, he just didn't make the look. Just didn't look down there. Nice play Good by steal. Duncan Cherry. Finish. Goaltending. They're going to call goaltending. Very easily could have been a foul as yeah. well. But, you know, Duncan's got to go up strong with that. Yeah, he's, he really kind of slowed down going into it. Yeah, he had a quarter of the court lead on the closest guy, and that guy caught him. Mm -hmm. So 39-37, yep. Union County. Just over six minutes to play. Tropes in. True just came in for uh, Cherry as well. And Eichen got gray. Yeah. Shrope. Good steal. Pulls it away. Kick it. Good pass up to Addison. Layup. Yep. Good job. Well, you know, Skyler Shrope would much rather have the assist than the points. Absolutely. So. I'd like to see him look <laughs> at the basket more than what he does, but you know what? Sometimes you need those guys that do the dirty work. There you go. Addison there. Kind of baited him into that throw down low. Yep, that's his live and die off yep, of that. Exactly. If he wouldn't have been there, he'd probably sitting on the bench at this time. They'd have grabbed it and got a layup out of it. But it worked for him. He got the steal. Yep. I'll just shoot that the first time, Tyler. Yep. In and out. He had that three from the corner. It was a good look. Oh, now there's that baseline guy again. We got sucked up yep. way too high. We tried trapping him up by half court, and I think Coach Spalding called that, but yep. then yep. our two low guys got, got sucked up, and they were both close to the free throw line. Maggie, ball's knocked out of bounds there by Shepler. San Sanford back in for Dirth for Union County. And Castle's going to get uh, Shrope. So we have starters except for we've got Blattner in. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how that was traveled. He hadn't, he hadn't hit the ground no. yet when he was falling with the ball. But AJ just never handled that cleanly. It yeah. kind of got into his belly instead of catching yeah. him with his hands. Yeah, they, they do that where they slip to the basket there a lot, but uh, just didn't catch it clean. Miller thought about the three. You got to know where Scott's at here. You got to know where he's at at all times. Yep. And right now he's open. Didn't shoot it, though. Takes it in, puts up a tough shot. I would have taken the that, three. Yep, that was a bad shot by Scott. True gets the rebound, kicks to Castle. He yep. Castle's three. Castle has got to stay up. He falls on every three-pointer. He's like a punter in the NFL. Yep, yep. And there they're going to call True for a travel. Yep. Yeah, he faked the he faked that pass and got the extra step. Yep. Yeah, Castle and I watched him because I saw it here. The guy hit him on the hand a little bit. Yep. And then and then he falls down. I'm like, yeah. Look, seriously, looks like a punter in the NFL. I'll talk to him at school about his acting. Right. Just every three he shoots, he's on he's on the ground and and then he can't get a rebound. Yeah. He, he's, he takes himself completely out of the play if you're laying on the ground. He needs to worry about shooting instead of flopping. Mm -hmm. We're down by two, 335 to go here. Looks like Union County's going to be patient. Having a two-point lead, they're going to look for a layup somewhere. Or a three-pointer. Three-pointer for Miller, wide open. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> that was... That was definitely knocked out by Donovan, but yeah, that was. I guess that was one of those let's get even uh -huh. bad calls. Let's see, Cherry's going to get Blattner, and uh, Dearth is coming in. But you know, on that ball, for, oh, sorry, go ahead. but that that ball that just got tipped, Jacob didn't box out. He didn't no. block anyone out, so it gave uh, gave them a, Ch a Shepler a chance to come and tip that ball out. And that should be Jake's bread and butter. Yep.
Again, they're going to be patient here. Looks like Eastern's in 2-3 zone. Just going to move it around the outside till they, till something's wide open. Yep, Scott gives it up top to Sanford. They're back at the volleyball line, so they're not even looking at the basket. No. This will eventually have to bring Eastern out of the zone and match up. Yep. But you can't lose that baseline guy. You can't lose the baseline no. guy. No, and right now we have no idea where he's at, yep. number 22 he's, in the corner there. Yep. He's got Addison sealed yep. if they want it. Castle there with the foul. Probably a good thing he fouled because I, I think uh, Miller had Addison he sealed. Was. for. Had they seen that, that was an open layup. Yep. Okay, so 2.23 to go. We're down by two. How much longer do you give our zone until we have to come out of it? I would say we're going to be out of it coming out of this, coming out so. of this timeout. I would say so. Because, I mean, you can see Union, Union County's content. We're just moving the ball up, up around the, the volleyball line, wasting time. Well, they just they burned over a minute that one yep. possession before we fouled them, so. Yeah, we um, we have four fouls, so we still have a couple fouls to give. Get to get to the bonus. Not many fouls called in um, either game. No. Which I guess, if you're going to be consistent, be consistent. That's true. Although I think the JV game was a little rougher than yeah, this one. So. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. We're man-to-man. -man. Yep. Good call on that one. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to pressure. Scott drives by Cherry. Oh. Puts it up and gets fouled by Castle. I don't know about that. Tyler Tyler left his feet, but he jumped vertical. He was vertical. But I guess don't leave your feet. It's kind of a crafty play there, I guess, by Scott, you know. It's the first. Second free throw. He's good. And that gives him a four point lead, makes it two possessions. All right, we got to be aggressive here. Yep. We're in man to man as well. Addison shoots three. Long and three, gets good. It. Timeout, Eastern. That's one of those no, no, no. Okay, good. Yeah. Three point line, though. We live and die from it. Oh, man. Yes, we do. And you look at our size, we're a pretty big team. We really are. I mean,. You look at 5'11", 6'3", 6'1", 6'0", 6'0", 5'10". Trope's only 5'9", right. but then you go 6'7", 6'3", again with Stevens and or, uh, Gray and Aichi. Yeah. Joey 6'4". Yeah. Brady 6'3". I mean, we've got size. But we just don't have that true post player. We do not have a mm -hmm. true post player. Jacob's the closest thing we got, Jacob Aichi. Yeah. He's got some. He's got some decent moves when he can get the ball to, down there, but this game he's just not been finishing. He's been looking to dish whenever we do get it down, which has been just a couple times at most. Again, there's that the baseline baseline guy just floating around. I don't know if we know where he's at. And we're back in our zone here. Good hands. Good hands. Good by steal should. by Castle. Oh, and Castle got. puts it up and got it. Nice job, Tyler Castle. Good take, good take. Had a three on one there. You got to get a layup or something. At the worst, free throws. Who'd they call that foul on? Was that on 10, I believe? You know, I didn't see that. They're not putting the fouls on the scoreboard. So it's yeah, good. I don't understand that either. 
Castle misses the first, and they're going to call Addison True for a foul yeah, pulling that, was, that guy down. That was pretty ticky tack, but. All right, so we're up one. Thanks to that play. It was a nice take by Castle. Yep. Minute 23. So now that you have the lead, we're back into the 2-3 zone, but you still got to know where Scott's at. Yep. And he's got it right now. I think AJ's leaving him too much, a little bit too much. There he is. Yep. The shot. Way short, off. Short, and Addison True gets he's the strong, rebound. Addison. Shep with all for the foul. Yep. The Union County. It's only their third. He thought he had all ball. Yeah. Addison's got a chin that though. Don't don't curl it up. Mm -hmm. Don't not like a football. Yeah. But. Put palm to palm on it and get those elbows out and keep it chin high. Now a minute to go here. We're up by a point. How long do you think they go till they foul? I would say they're going to start fouling. I'd say if they don't get a steal here quickly, they are going to foul because they only have 14 fouls, so they need three more to put us in the bonus. That's a good point. Now they got us on the trap. Somebody called the timeout. There you go. There you go. Coach Spalding got his timeout in. 44 seconds to go. A.J. got called over on the sideline, picked mm -hmm. up his dribble. Nowhere to go. See if uh, Coach Spalding gets his best free throw shooters in here or how he does this. Now having a, having a one-point lead with 44 seconds, worst case scenario, we should be shooting free throws or a layup. Yeah but we've got to be strong with the ball because they're going to come out aggressive to try to – because they know they have fouls to give, so they're going to try to go through you to get the ball. And it looks like uh, Spalding's going with his ball handling group because they still have four fouls. Yep. You know, so you might as well go with your ball handlers instead because right. he's got Shrope in there. Um, he has Aishan, who's a great passer in there. So he's gone with that group of guys. Yeah, since they have a couple fouls to give, keep your ball handlers in there, and then when they get to that sixth foul, then you get your free throw shooters in. Exactly, exactly. But you know Union County's going to come out aggressive. Again, they, they have nothing to lose on a foul. They're going to go through you to try to get the ball. Yep. So if a foul's called, they were wanting to foul anyway. Exactly. If they don't ca call it, then they get a steal out of it. Yep, so we've got to be strong with the basketball. Yes. That's the big thing here. No one-handed catches, no, you know. Come meet the pass. Come meet yep, the pass. Exactly. We didn't do that in the JV game right yep. up here and almost lost it. Yep. Good movement, good ball movement. They've got four yes. corners here. Four corners. I don't There's a foul away Shuffler. from the ball. Foul trope. Still only the fifth foul. So two more till we're in the bonus here. 28 seconds left. That's great. Great job there by us. There you go. Good. Got in easy. They were get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. And we just turned it over. Skyler caught that ball, turned, and just froze. He had to, he should have uh, dribbled out of that, get out of that, get off that sideline. And he just told Castle, he grabbed Castle and said, hey, that was yep. my bad, not yours. Yep. Oh. And that's what I was talking about. That's that's where you got to be strong with the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's that's Skyler's inexperience. Yep, yep. You know, if he grabs that, chins that thing, and looks to get it back into the middle of the court to Jake Eichen or or AJ or somebody, then, you know, yeah, and that's a better place than Castle in the corner. Yeah, as I say, the pass that he was making to Tyler, there was nowhere to go anyway. He was even he was even in a worse position. He was yes. in the coffin corner. So 20.8 20, 20. seconds. The cheerleader just fell down. I didn't see. I think she was coming out of her tumbling. Yeah, she was. Fell down. She was. She's fine, though. She's up and going. Yeah. I think the only thing that hurt was maybe her pride. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a pride one. All right, I would say we'll probably be in our two-three zone. And we can't foul, or, or they're shooting free throws if we foul. Yep. So yep. Again, that baseline guy, you gotta find him. Right now, it's Cameron Donovan. Cameron Donovan, six-five. High screen. 
got to get out. They got to. They had uh, True sealed, and Mason Miller drilled it. That was a smart play there by the Patriots. Afterwards, they they fouled. There's only 3.6 seconds left. Yep. Oh man. Now that's their six, so we're shooting if they foul us again. Yeah, which I don't see them fouling us because they're only ahead by two, so it would be in re- n- not with 3.6 seconds. Oh, come on, guys. This is reminiscent of last week when we had a yep. Yep. shot here. That inbounds to A.J. He gets around. Got to shoot it. They call foul. They did call a foul. They did call a foul. Yep, push out of bounds, which it definitely was a foul. He was trying to shoot. That should be three shots, not two. The ref just signaled two shots. Yes. Yes, he was definitely outside because he was almost falling out of bounds. Yeah. So he was on the sideline, definitely in the three-point three point range when he threw that. Unless they're going to call it before the before the shot. So if it's a one and one, then there's got to be time left on the clock, right? If they're going to call one and one, there has to be time on the clock because he was shooting it yes. as the buzzer was sounding. Yeah, yeah, because the ball was in the air as the buzzer was sounding. Yeah. So nice looks like they're uh, might be talking about put some more put some more time on the clock. Timeout looks like timeout by Union County. I, I don't know if the officials are trying to figure out what to do time wise or how to do this. You know, at this point though, the time doesn't really matter. We got to make the two free throws. Yeah, there can't be much time left on the clock. To, we got to put these free throws in though. AJ should AJ go on the line shoot one on one. But I'm thinking even even a second gives us a chance for a tip in a tip in or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You know. You know, you go back to. Make your free throws. Good things happen. If there is no time, there shouldn't be anybody out there with them, correct? Nope, shouldn't be. Be no reason. Be no reason to have anyone out there. So well, I think if there's no time, the rule is everybody has to be back. They're call they're, they're calling. saying no time on the clock. Yep. No time. Looks like AJ's going to be going out there by himself to shoot. Bonus. Hit these, AJ. Come on. Coach Schultz giving him the Co- Coach Schultz pep talk there. I still don't see how can it be a one and one if there's no time left. I know. It would either be the game's over, or he was <laughs> fouled while shooting, yeah. or after he shot. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Unless they called it after the shot, but it should still have been. A, yeah, then he would be shooting, shooting three or at least two. It's almost worth shooting these free throws with nobody on the line. Good. Got it. Got it. All right. One more coming one here. One more here, bud. One more. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Looks good. Looks good. Got it. Overtime. Over T. So the official's call there doesn't end up costing us anything. Nope. We'll get uh, four more minutes to play here in overtime. Oof. Okay, that's, that could be momentum going into that overtime. That could be huge momentum. And I believe, I don't know who that foul was on. I didn't catch that foul. I believe it was 22. I believe it was on Miller. Miller, I Miller? think you're right. You know what? It was a pretty suspicious call, but as far as the time. Yeah. But you know what? We made our free throws. We still get it. We're still in it. I've got first, a chance. Those are our first made free throws of the game right there. Wow. Good, Tyler. Tyler nice Castle. Let, that's a foul. That's a foul. All right. They got it on 44. 
Tyler Castle worked his butt off to get that ball on the tip. Yes, he did. And yeah. hit a cut in Madison True for uh, going in for a layup and got fouled. Yes, he did. Great job. job, Castle. That's what you talked about, Castle's, you know, active hands earlier. Now that looked like a better free throw. Still like to see him slow down just a little bit and look at the basket before he just shoots. I agree. He used to go down. He used to dip, bend his knees and go down. He doesn't do that anymore. Wonder, I wonder why he's changed that. I don't, I don't know. know. Okay, we're back into our 2-3 zone. Again, you got to know where Scott's at. There's Miller. He made the three last. To Castle with the rebound. Gets it to Sorry, our cameraman's cheering here and getting into the game. <laughs> getting into the game and missing some of the action. Okay, now here I'd like to – ah, that's, that's just a tough play. Oh. He was throwing it to A.J. A.J. was going back door, and just the timing was not good. And A.J. had him back door, too. He did. He did. That's why I like a two-handed pass. He yeah. pushed it through the pass with one hand. You can't stop the pass then once you start it. All right, so Sanford up top of the ball. Over to Scott on the wing. Back up Sanford. Three minutes to go here. Again, you gotta you gotta watch uh, Donovan on the baseline. Six five. They got the ball Ooh, in the middle. That was a travel that there. Was they a missed him. We had Shepler came in between our two guys on the top of the two three zone, and then both of them both left of them him. left. He he. Faked the pass, both of them left, and left him for a wide open shot. That's just not not communicating, you nope. know. We got to talk better. So all tied County's, back up. Yeah, Union County's in man to man. Addison's going to try to take him one on one. That's a rush. Bad That's shot. a tough shot. Tough shot. Sanford comes away with it, and then Addison reaches in. That was a frustration reach, but that yep. was a ticky tack call. That was very ticky tack. Because that really that didn't affect anything. Nope. You know, I, and it puts them on the line. I I hate when they make that call right there where nothing was affected by that yep. call. He had yeah he had no path to the basket. He was getting ready to circle it back out anyway. Got to box out here. Sanford hits the first. His first point of the game. Puts them up by a point. Wow. Still, just one point game. We're in this for sure. Oh yeah, missed, missed the second. Addison with the rebound. They're still in their man defense here. Castle over to Ishan. Back to Castle. Two minutes to go here. Cherry long Short. three. Short oh, Addison, it, good great hustle. job by Addison to get the. Ah. Rebound, but then he had great hustle, but kicked that thing back out. Yeah, he got he got it when he rebounded. He ended up down in the corner on the baseline, mm -hmm. and then he tried to get himself out, and then he got himself in trouble and just had to throw it up at the basket, and then Eichen tipped it out. A little offense for defense, stroke back in for Cherry here. Yep. Oh, okay, we're back in our two-three zone, but looks like we're trapping off of it. Gotta when you trap on a two-three zone, you gotta trap that leaves, hard. Yep, that leaves four guys against three. You've got to make that that line of sight almost impossible there if you're gonna do that. Yep, yep. You have big arms, have you know active hands. Minute twenty left here. We just switched to man. Sanford up to Scott. A minute eight left. Scott drives, puts it up, and, and rolls in. Layup. Three point lead for Union County. Yep, one minute. Good enough. Keep taking it. There you go. 
So True gets fouled by Scott. So he was coming from the left wing, and he had Scott on his hip, and that's when you go. And he had an open path to the basket yep. other than Scott there, so. When you get that guy on your hip, you go. That's ninth team foul, so that'll be one and one, right? Yep, still bonus, one and one. Now, last year, Addison's free throw, he would he would bend his knees, he would go down and then come up and shoot. Mm -hmm. This year, he's just... He's not taking, bending his knees at all. No. It's all in the upper body. No, nope, just taking a couple dribbles. So, 54 seconds. Up. Let's see, we're down three, but Addison's got one and one here. Blattner's going to come in for Eichmann. It must be a speed thing. Yeah. Made the first. Got it. And his free throws were a lot cleaner going through the basket last year yeah. as well. But that bricked out a little bit. So we're down by two. 54 to go. Okay, trapping there, trapping. And they're going to call True with the reach in there. We got three on Addison now. So who got Miller going to the line? Got Miller shooting, shooting one, one on one, one still. We got to we got to convert though on our side. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're down for sure, you got to put them in. I've got Addison that's three of six for tonight. Miller's free throw is up and long. And they're calling a foul on AJ. And that comes from, I, I didn't see that. We had AJ trying to block out a 6'5 guy. Yeah. That one's a little questionable as yeah. well, but I don't know if I don't know if AJ was trying to more sell it as he was getting fouled as to box him out. But that changes things, so you go from missing the one-on-one -on -one to found another guy to go in and shoot one-on-one, -on -one, and he makes his. So they're up by Donovan. three. Misses a sec, three-point game here. Okay, 45 seconds. Ah, uh, Addison long oh. three. Woo. Ties it up. Scott's Man. behind. Scott's on the baseline. They don't see him. Okay, I don't know. Okay, 2 3 zone. 2 3 zone. 25 seconds. Union County again, waiting for the last shot. Looks like. Last time they sealed us on Addison's side, and Miller hit the three. Scott, Scott's got it. Five seconds. Don't foul, don't foul. No. You couldn't see who made it. Was it Shepler? Yeah, it was Shepler. Terry didn't block out. Nobody blocked out the shooter, and Shepler got his own miss. Got his own miss, threw it up, and oh, put it in. Oh, my. Two tough losses back to back. Oh, on last second shots? Yep. Realistically on both games. Yeah, absolutely. And that was just Shepler wanting it more than, That's right. than our guys. That That's end. right. He threw it up. We turned and watched. They uh, ball bounced right back to Shepler and threw it up and got it. And where we're at, you can't see. They don't have the lights on the backboard like we do to right. see when the clock goes off. So, yep. and we can't see it because the score or the the side goals, the backboards in the way. So, yep. oh, heartbreaking there. Yep. I mean, heartbreaking. Oh, well, 
Let's see, that, that'll take Union County to 9-3. and three. That'll take us to 8-3. and three. But, I mean. But you think, you know, all, all three of our losses this year, the North Decatur, we were getting blown out, came back, got to within one in the second half. Mm-hmm. And then um, then last week against Wapahani. And then this game, Wapahani beat us with a three. Basically, as you said, his time expired. Yeah. And then this loss, his time expired. So we've, we've been in every game. Just uh, got to figure out a way to win.